Let's introduce ourselves. Craig Middlebrooks. Samantha in the boardroom, Miranda in the bedroom. I know it's not ideal, but it's who I am. This is my friend Madison. She's amazing. And she drove me here. Okay. Oh my God, these dogs are so cute. I want to throw up and kill myself. Mike and Patterson is Eagleton's most tenacious reporter. When he sinks his teeth into something, he's like a dog with a bone! Oh my God, you can't lean in to whisper and then yell. That's not fair. Hi, I'm Donna. Oh, that is the perfect name for you. I love it. Never change it. Wasn't gonna. You're Craig, right? Oh, yes, I hate that name. So boring. It's not like someone's cousin, Craig, Craig. I want to be a Spanish man named Terrence, but that didn't happen. Okay. So here's my list of duties. I'm basically the office manager. How about you? Oh, I did everything. Everything. I carried the Eagleton department on my shoulders for years, and I loved every second of it. You don't even know. Oh. Now remember, it's about finding a dog that captures your spirit. See, this is Craig. <laughs> Oh no, that is insane. I will burn this place to the ground if you pick that one. Okay, good choice. Donna, April, Wine Country Train is leaving the station. You ready? I want to come. I love wine and everything about it. The soil, the vines. I studied botany for three years at Purdue University. Go Boilermakers! Okay. You're the cutest little boo I've ever seen. You are the world's most adorable baby and I love you. You are so freaking precious. Ah! Ben! It's okay, I'm fine, stay relaxed. Oh my God, there's blood oh. everywhere. Call a doctor! No, call a coroner! It's disgusting! Okay, I'm gonna need the sarcasm to take a long walk right now. My terrible nephew Sebastian is having his sixth birthday party this weekend and the clown they hired has shingles. <gasps> you think your band could play for an hour? How much? 75. $75,000. How about 300? $300,000? 150. They'll do it. Ah, thank you. That is such a relief. I love my nephew very much, but he's a horrible little tyrant, so don't ruin this day for him! Pumpkin, undertones of lavender, medium plus body. It's mostly pumpkin. There's so much pumpkin, it's like a Charlie Brown Halloween special. It's New World, Northern California, Napa Valley. Someplace beautiful and warm and amazing where everyone is in great shape and the night sky is full of stars. I guess we can make a switch to Bermuda grass. It's only 80 cents more per square foot. What? Gimme, gimme, gimme. You want me to put Bermuda grass in a continental climate that's a six on the Beaufort scale in a park with zero drainage? I want Kentucky bluegrass, I want a 10% discount, and I want you to apologize to my best friend, Donna! Yeah, hi. Is there, and I'm just guessing here, some kind of medication that you maybe need a lot of and have taken none of, or maybe too much of today? Oh, I have, I have a medical condition, all right. It's called caring too much, and it's incurable! Also, I have eczema. Okay, important meeting in the conference room right now. We are going to all pick our spirit dogs. Oh, I've got to pick up Gail at the airport. Larry, I swear to God, if you leave right now, we will make your spirit dog a miniature schnauzer. Is that bad? Yes! Get in there! Well, good night, everyone. I'm going to go home and feel totally fine. Who am I kidding? I'm going to go home, put on a Macy Gray album, and cry in the mirror! Why are you bummed? Are you all blind? I want that job at Tom's Bistro. I've been trying to show you for the last five hours. Look, man, you know your stuff, but you're like a crazy volcano. You'd have to show me you can bring it down a notch. I'll bring it down a thousand notches if I have to! A soft opening tomorrow? From now on, everyone call me Kristen, because I am wigging out right now. Yeah, we're not even close to being ready. They're not even done painting that sign. It says Tom's Bye. Actually, no, that's good. Oh, gosh, here's the thing. I can't do it. I got laryngitis. You will not fail on me, Andrew Dwyer. You will perform. My nephew was something of an outcast in his school, and I got Erica Sorvain to come, which is a huge get. She rules the first grade, and this party will determine his social status for the next hundred years. So you better get out there, or I am going to lose it. Have you not lost it? Well, you don't even know! Big plans tonight, Craig? No, I have a ton of work to do. Plus, my DVR is 13 months pregnant with episodes of Scandal. Scandal's my favorite show. I love every character, except for Melly. Oh, of course you like Scandal, because you're amazing. I love you. And no matter what happens with this job, I will always love you. Excuse me, who even are you? Good evening, may I assist you with a wine tonight? Yeah, I'm having fish, so maybe a full-bodied red? You know, sir, you might want to consider something white to go with your fish. No, red. And bring some ice cubes. I like ice cubes in my red wine. Mm. 
<laughs> I'll have a glass of your most expensive red wine mixed with a glass of your cheapest white wine served in a dog bowl. Silly straws all around, please. I'll be right back with my recommendations. Seems to be keeping it together. What kind of monster orders red with fish? I, I know they're messing with me and it's just a test, but have some decency! <laughs> okay, focus up, you little monsters! Not you, Erica. You're an angel and we're thrilled you're here. Now, is everyone ready to hear the best music you've ever heard in your miserable little lives? <laughs> okay, then ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... What even do you call yourself? Yeah, I oh, it's too late! Please welcome Johnny Karate and his magical guitar stick. Recently, I've been feeling like I've wasted the last 10 years of my life and it all started with this internship and I don't want those kids to make the same mistake, okay? April, you spent the last 10 years doing amazing things with this parks department and learning from the greatest teacher in this or any business, Leslie freaking Nope. You'd be a checkout girl at a gas station if it wasn't for that internship. Ah, I can't handle all this fighting. It's like Thanksgiving 2004 all over again. Don't even ask. Somebody follow me, I'm distraught. What's so wonderful that you're all celebrating while I do all the hard work? We're having triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. First my cousin Winona gets into a car accident the night my one man show opens and now this. Why are my accomplishments always overshadowed? Congratulations, I suppose. We are gathered here today to join Craig Middlebrooks and Typhoon Montalban in holy matrimony. I don't know about this. I'm very scared. Oh, just relax, you nervous Nelly. You're right. We love each other. And the tax break is substantial. Will the best man please present the rings? Good luck, you two. Typhoon, my love, happy anniversary. Do you have any regrets? Not one. Not a single one. Do you have any regrets? Are you kidding? Thousands. Most recently, this trout! <laughs> Terrific. Any higher? No? Well, that's fine. We're all just calm and happy people enjoying ourselves together on Earth. Sold for $50. How magnificent. Leslie, that's less than face value. You need passion, zeal, showmanship. I don't have the gavel, so I'm powerless. I respect the hierarchy of the auction. I think Leslie's doing a great job. Thank you, Craig. That was so spot on, it was scary. I need to go lie down for 45 minutes. No, an hour. A full hour. Craig, any update on the art tents? 14 local artists have signed up to show their work. It was going to be 15, but then this one guy described himself as Jackson Pollock-esque, and I told him that's finger painting for adults, and I hate it! Hey, you're from Eagleton, right? Are there any places out there I should check out? Uh, I used to go see live shows at Patterson's, but I'm boycotting until the owner apologizes for what she said to me at the dog park. All right, cool. Anything else? I hear a Cozy's bar gets pretty packed on Thursdays, but I've never been because it's mostly middle-aged women and I'm allergic to turkey neck. Really? That's the best part. We should split a turkey sometime. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Leslie. What did you do to the office? Ron, you're wearing my yoga clothes. They're gonna stretch out the elastic. We're sorry. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have orchids in all the pews, right? Because orchids are Donna's favorite flowers and she's my favorite flower. <laughs> <laughs> We're real cute. Of course there are gonna be orchids. You think this is my first time working a side job as a wedding planner for a former coworker? No. I'm so sorry. I mostly have my rage problem under control, but planning is very stressful. Please avoid my trigger words. Flowers, schedule, vows, bride, groom, food, love, happy, church, event, wedding, and Craig. I am so sorry, Craig. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For you, sir, a light crisp pinot with just a hint of lemon to bring out the flavors in your fish. I brought you a bold Cabernet, which should still taste okay when watered down. And for you, madam, uh, would you consider this rosé? It's halfway between red and white. Thanks very much. Enjoy. Mm. Think I may have found my new sommelier? That was so embarrassing! Why I'll have to make sure the wine cellar at Tom's Bistro is soundproof. Why are you all in my office? We are on one last mission to help the people of Pawnee. Craig, can you sign the requisition form and speed things up? You know, Craig, when I first met you, I thought, there is a man who loves his job. And then I thought, oh, wow, he's intense. And then I thought, oh, no, he's insane. That person is psychotic, and I need to call the police. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. <laughs>